Okay, I'm going to do a quick little um, video in the, in the spirit of a conversation I was in with the re reliability of some of the different heat treat oven manufacturers. I'm doing some thermal cycling here today, and this is a uh, this is a damn, I just ran into the wall over here. This is a even heat oven. This is an even heat oven that I've had sitting up at uh, about 1600, I think it's set on 1615 degrees and it's been at that temp now for I think it started out at three hours so it's been there for 16 minutes which really isn't very long and the set temp 1615 degrees now keep in mind the, th the thermocouple on these is right in the center of the oven and of course it's up there at the top in the ceiling of the oven. I could show you if I open the door here, but you get the idea. It's up at the ceiling. Heat rises, so it's going to be a little hotter at the top. But we're going to watch here just for a minute and watch how this cycles. Set temp, keep in mind, is 1615. So there's 1616. We'll watch for about 30 seconds. There, dropped a degree. Back to 16, 16. So it is holding within three degrees of 1,615 degrees. And most of the time it's dead on until it just cools a little bit, cycles, and it keeps it there. It's shut off, and it'll, or is it probably on now? Now it's off. So it's holding 16, 16, 16, 13 to 60. That's three degrees. You know, you, you can figure out the math on what that percentage is. Now, I have an independent probe stuck in there with... A different reader on it. I'm going to turn my camera a little bit. Now also keep in mind that this probe is down, it's going to be down about four inches below the ceiling. So you could expect a degree or two cooler at 1,600 degrees, a degree or two cooler than the set temp would not be unexpected at all. So we're going to take a look, I'm going to turn my camera sideways and see where this thing reads, reads and how it holds. 1611. So I'm basically, let's say, three or four degrees cooler because it's a, about four inches below the ceiling, which is expected, and very, very steady. So that's two separate, what we'll call heat sensors, within about a four degree window. Wow, that just holds steady as can be. So when it comes to the reliability of the even heat, and I've had this thing for, this is one of the first things I bought. After I bought a variable speed grinder, I bought this oven. And I'm not, but within a three, four, five degree window all along. Okay, get the idea. I trust my even heat pretty darn well.